so if you watch my other t channel, Lust, it is a much faster growing channel than this, and I put more of my focus on that. Here, we've moved to two videos Monday and one video the rest of the week. Over there, we do two hour plus live streams every Monday and Thursday night. And then we have free videos most days on, on weekdays, um, two videos on the weekend. And then I also have a channel for my newborn that is growing even faster than both of these channels because baby content is all that YouTube wants. So it's hard for me to make these, uh, it's hard for me to show any general interest in this. Now, why I'm interested in this, this is the first time I've covered CryptoZoo, I've covered Logan Paul and his many, 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 many scams. And this is the first time and probably the only time I've ever felt like the victims deserved what they got. So one victim uh, says it very clearly in the comments. He knew that she was in a relationship with another guy. So he tells him, hey, we can blank. I'm in an open relationship. He says, oh, wow, that sounds really good. So he has unprotected blank with her. And then I guess they get into a relationship later. And then so she breaks up with the first guy to get in a relationship with him. And then she cheats on him and has unprotected blank with another guy. Well, now he's really upset because how could he, how could she do this to him? Well, mother effort, you did it to the other guy. Why would you not think she would do this to you? Hopefully I'm telling this story. This story is so bizarre in my personal opinion that like what a person like if somebody's willing to cheat with you on her current boyfriend, husband, whoever significant other, then how are you all that surprised in a certain way with unprotected blank when she cheats on someone else when you're together, right? And how are you all that surprised? Somebody who lies about attending Stanford and having been accepted to Harvard Law, you know, when is the last time an OnlyFans model was accepted to Harvard Law? I would guess never, you know, Harvard Law is the best law school, one of the best law schools in the nation. Why would you believe that? And then she uses all her, you know, bad job at top deck. You know, these are big 95 MTG. These are not small little companies making allegations. These are big, massive companies in this field. So take it with a grain of salt, right? She lied about being on the pro tour, which you can easily check in ELO. She lied about being in a Hallmark movie as the lead. Who even wants to be in a mother having all? Like, it's so easy to determine that she is lying to you. She stole her boyfriend's dying dad's bank account to use on herself. Like, this stuff is crazy. Like, she stole multiple magic promos, right? Everyone apparently knows about her and to the point that they don't even want to make money. It reminds me of the, the Pokemon Fusion Strike thing where the guy takes like a thousand, uh, you know, Gengar alternative all arts and goes to the local game store and says, hey, what can you give me for them? The local game store is like, whoa, this is stolen or something is wrong. So they immediately call the police or call Pokemon. And, and that this is exactly what's happening here. It's... Um, no different, right? Like she has so many of these promos that there's got to be a reason that she has them and it's not because you won them. So back to the stealing and, and now she's making her return because she feels like she's very confident and she's in the UK. It, it's exactly like that dude, the Manosaurus Wedge. I covered a wedge for every single day for probably like two years. Like before, this was before Rudy Chan. I mean, I mean who was worse, Rudy Chan or Wedge? It's debatable, but Wedge was really bad. He stole half a million dollars using Tulane Community College, which is like his best friend, by the way, and then ran to the UK. This is the same idea, man. See, still, it used to be back in the day, I mean, maybe because I live in Texas, that you steal money from the bank and you run to the Mexican border. Now everyone go to the UK, man. The UK is a political hellfire right now. Shout out to uh, UK. Um, I know, I know all about the UK situation because there's like watch Rolex. So my other channel is about Rolex, kind of about Rolexes. Uh, at least half my subscribers are interested in Rolexes. I'll put it that way. 
And there's a guy who was a Rolex dealer or Rolex uh, watch channel. And now he's like a, poli- he's like a political. He like gets people really mad online. So then they like, you know, riot and stuff. Paul Forp is his name. Uh, so actually, I know Paul quite well. Uh, so it's interesting to see that transit. But anyway, nonetheless, it seems like, oh, also abandoning two dogs and two cats is living in Europe. I mean, at, at some point in time, you got to say, like, enough is enough, right? Like, why? Okay, let me put it this way. Why the hell do you need two cats and two dogs when you abandon them? Could you just get one dog and then put him in a shelter? I mean, this is the worst case scenario, I think. This is a person who two cats, two dogs. This, this should tell you all you need to know about that. That last sentence, which has been confirmed. I have people reached out to me and confirmed that is true. She did abandon her two dogs and two cats to go to Europe. No joke. She didn't find home to her. She did abandon her two cats and two dogs. Why would you have two dogs and two cats if you can't handle them? If you're not going to take them to Europe with you? Why would you have... Why can't you just get one dog? Uh, uh, granted, maybe a dog is different than a cat. Maybe one dog, one cat. I do... I foster dogs. I foster 11 dogs, 4 cats. And people like her make me sick. Because they're... they're how should I say it? Um... I'm trying to put it in the nicest term possible. I would not be surprised if in the UK she has dogs and cats right now. I don't know. I don't. I haven't looked at her social media beyond this. I would not be shocked because that's the type of person she is. She views you as expend. If she views her pets, which love her unconditionally because they're pets, as expendable like that, then she views you as expendable. Doesn't matter. She's going to steal your dad's bank account, your dying dad's bank account. Doesn't matter. You know, she's going to cheat on you just like you cheated on uh, her, with, with her. And she's going to lie her way to the top. Multiple times, right? If you understand, it's a pun. It's a pun, guys. It's a pun. She's going to lie her way to the top. I don't know what company she's working with right now, but I would hate to be that company right now. I think it's some type of axiom. I don't I know. I've never heard of it. But she said she worked at Ravensburg, Disney. Uh, the, the the people making the card game for Locana. That turned out to be a lie. She said she got accepted to Harvard. I mean, when's the last time somebody showing her blank on online got accepted to mother effing Harvard Law? It, it's gotta be. Um, it's gotta be. Oh yes, and she also handed uh, business cards with her OF to little children. God forbid she be a, a male called Dr. Disrespect. Because, uh, yeah, God forbid that be Dr. Disrespect or Ava Chris Tyson, right? Because in the media, uh, minors are very well protected. I think uh, it's bad. It's very bad. Because I'm making videos about you. <laughs>